once a parent has clicked the, your unique URL sent by ETS to their email and created their portal account, they will log in and see the portal like this. From here, they have a multitude of options, but mainly they have school choice. When they click school choice for the newly accepted child, they will get a list of applications that they have pending and a drop down to begin a new application. Currently, we don't have any applications in the system, so we're going to create a new one for the purposes of this video. We will choose school choice, and now I'm given a choice of schools. From here, I can submit applications as a parent to have my child, William, attend the campuses that I have available to me. Currently, <clears throat> I am zoned for El Cajon Valley, but maybe I want my child to go to Granite Hills. I simply click Granite Hills, make that my first choice, say submit application. Now, underneath my application awaiting approval is here. I can choose a second choice. If you notice, Granite Hills is already selected, not available for me to select again. El Capitan is my second choice. Submit application. Submitted. Now, periodically, I can check back to see if my application has been accepted. Simply by logging back into the portal and choosing school of choice and seeing the status. Currently, they were just submitted, so there currently is no status. However, here they are, awaiting approval. Once an application has been approved and or denied, it will show up here in the messages process inbox, whether or not it has been successfully approved or denied. Once the district has approved my school choice application, it will show in my parent portal under the school choice tab, listing of my applications, and under the approval status, it will show as approved. Currently, my student will be enrolled at El Cajon Valley High School, but I've been approved to change to Granite Hills. I simply, as a parent, have to click accept the application and submit accepted applications. Once that is done, it has been approved, accepted, and now my student will be attending Granite Hills High School rather than El Cajon Valley in the fall based on my open enrollment school choice.